If you want to create a public subnetwork from scratch in AWS, it can be a little bit difficult because you have to create a VPC. You have to create a subnetwork within that VPC. You have to create an internet gateway. You have to add that internet gateway to a route table. All of those steps require a little bit of practice. And for newbies, one thing that can be nice to get around worrying about that is to use the VPC wizard. Now, if I go over to the VPC console and I click on your VPCs, this is where I would create a regular custom VPC. But if I go to the regular dashboard page, uh, there's an orange button there that says launch VPC wizard. And if I click on that, it gives me four common use cases related to subnetworks. And uh, the bottom two relate to providing access between your corporate data center over a VPN to your AWS network. The first two deal with creating an exclusively public network, meaning that whatever you put in your subnet is going to have access to and from the internet. And uh, the second one has to do with creating um, a, a divided network where some of your IP addresses are for a private network that doesn't have direct access to the internet to and from the internet and one that does. And so let's just go with this first one right here. So this network uh, wizard uh, sets up a new VPC, a single subnet within that VPC. And then from within, once you've created that and given it a name, you could then go back and launch a new EC2 instance and put it in this subnetwork. And know that everything in that network is stuff that you understand very well because you just created it. Okay, so by uh, right at the top here with this one, it gives us the 10.0 addresses, meaning that there's going to be 65,536 addresses minus five for internal AWS networking stuff. Um, but anyway, still quite a bit in the overall VPC and it's pre-filled for you. You can change this and set it to one of the other private I IP address schemes if you want. Uh, let's give this a name and I'll call this websites uh, hyphen production. And uh, within the single subnet that's going to be created in here. Now remember, you can't launch a, an EC2 instance or other network service within the VPC directly. You have to put it within a subnet, and a subnet is bound to a data center or an availability zone. So, with, uh, so this subdivision of the overall network here is going to have just 251 addresses in it, and that's fine. Uh, and we will go ahead and within this particular region, there are two data centers or availability zones. And I'll call this, uh, since this is a website, uh, website uh, 1A. Uh, you could call it anything, it's fine. But basically that's all I need to do. And what's gonna, what's gonna happen here is that in addition to creating this subnetwork, it's also going to create an internet gateway and, it, and update the routing table associated with this particular subnet right here to take advantage of the internet gateway. So that way you don't have to do all that stuff by hand. Okay, so the VPC has been created. And if I click over here, it says websites production, it ends in E4. And if I go over here to subnets and I look for the one that ends in E4, there it is. And just to demonstrate that this is usable now, I can go to EC2 or EC2 and I could start launching an instance. And I'll go to my dashboard and I will say launch an instance. And I'll just select some defaults here. And here's where it gets interesting. So rather than using the default network, which might get junked up with all kinds of experimentation that you're doing, you can go to this drop down and select this custom one that you just created. And there is currently only one subnet there to put things in, but you understand exactly the nature of the network that is there. And uh, you can, because it's a public network, uh, you can allow it to assign an IP, a public IP address 
to the EC2 instance that you are spinning up as part of this wizard. And so you can only do that because you created a subnet that has internet access already because the subnet's attached to an internet gateway. 